In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we are here. Jesus, we are here. Holy God, we are here. Precious Father, oh precious Jesus, oh precious Redeemer, Lord we are yearn for you, Emmanuel. Father, oh, eternal Jesus, oh, eternal Father, we are here, we are here for you. Come, raise. Glory in my life. 
Alleluia. You are highly lifted, God. There is no one like you. Oh, Ali, Ali, Alleluia. Alleluia. You are highly lifted, God. There is no God like you. Oh, Ali, Ali, Hallelujah. Alleluia. You are highly lifted, Lord. There is no one like you. Lord, Ali, Ali, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You will feel my heart today to overflow. Adonai, as the Lord commanded it, I bring my vessel numb up to you. You will feel my heart today to overflow with the Holy Ghost and fire, Holy Ghost and fire. You will feel my heart today to overflow as the Lord commanded him. I bring my vessel numb that you have. You will fill my heart today to overflow with the Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost and fire. He will fill your heart this morning with the power of our bow. As the Lord commanded it. I bring my vessel numb that you, you will fill my heart today to overflow with the Holy Ghost and fire. Why can't you begin to tell the Lord I have come? Lord, I have come that, Lord, I may receive this body. I have come that I may be transformed. I have come that you may fill me with a fire from a bow. I have come that I may receive the Holy Ghost. I, may, I have come that I may have the knowledge of the Holy Ghost. I have come this morning, Lord. Why can't somebody talk to the Lord? Say, Lord, I have come this morning. Why can't somebody pray with understanding? Say, Lord, here am I. Why can't somebody talk to God with understanding, Lord? I need that anointing from a bow. I need that fire from a bow. I need that spirit from a bow. I need the power of Jesus from a bow. Why can't somebody talk to Jesus? Jesus with understanding this morning. Why can somebody begin to talk to Jesus? Oh, precious Father. We have come that we may receive from you. I have come that I may have the knowledge. I have come that I may have the understanding. I have come, Lord, that I may receive, oh Lord, that fresh anointing. Lord, that fresh power, that fresh fire, Lord, to do the work, the work of evangelism. Lord, to do the work, the work you are laying on my hand. Lord, I need that fresh fire all over me, all over your children. Lord, hearing my voice this morning, Lord, you will release your fire upon every man. Oh man, hearing my voice this morning because it is a time of the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, I say you will take over your children. They are your children. Lord, you have made us to understand without you we are finished. Lord, without the Holy Ghost we can't do nothing. Therefore, Father, this morning we have come that we may receive the fire from above. We have come, my Father, in glory, that you will feed us with your fire. Lord, we have come, my Father, in glory, that you will turn us to a different man, a different woman. Holy Ghost, we have come this morning, Lord, precious Father, we cannot do without you. <laughs> Yahweh. Yahweh. Holy Ghost, I ask you this morning to do your work, Lord. 
Holy Ghost, I ask you to take your children unaware. Holy Ghost, I ask you to transfer somebody this morning. I ask you, Holy Ghost, my father, on that day, my father of Pentecost, the apostle was in upper room. Father, early in the morning as they was praying, Lord, the Holy Ghost overtake them. Lord, this morning, my father in glory, you will take somebody unaware because it is a day of the Lord, my father. Your children have been on this program for a time. Father, from no pass of day now, Lord, I pray this morning, oh Lord, my father, that none of them, any man or woman hearing my voice will remain the same. Holy Ghost, I ask you, Holy Ghost, this morning, you will show yourself now. Holy Ghost, I pray this morning, oh Lord, that we be metabo force power, that we metabo force people. Holy Ghost, I pray right now, let there be a fire all over your children this morning, where your children are hearing my voice, Lord. Holy Ghost, I pray now, Lord, my God, you will take us all control right now. You begin to do your work in the heart of your children. Holy Ghost, I say this morning, Lord, let it be a different morning with the power of the Holy Ghost. Yahweh, I ask you this morning, Lord. Holy Ghost, I ask you to blow right now to the east. You will blow to the west. You will blow to the north. You will blow to the south, Lord. It is a time of the Holy Ghost. Without the Holy Ghost, your children cannot do nothing. Yes, Lord. Take a solo control this morning. Take a solo control this morning, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. I welcome you now. Spirit of the Lord, have your way now. Spirit of the Most High. Spirit of the Most High, you are welcome, Lord. Lord, feed this temple. Feed this temple. Feed this temple. Feed the heart of your children. They have been testing of you. If they are not testing, they cannot be entering prayer by 12 midnight, by 5.30, by 1.30. Holy Ghost, your children are testing for you. Jesus, whosoever that drink that living water will not taste again. I ask you this this morning, Yahweh, I ask you this morning, Lord, you will metamorphose your children to another ray. Yahweh, Yahweh, it is your time. Take us to the country. Let your name be no be glorified. Thank you, precious Daddy. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are welcome, Lord. You are welcome, Holy Ghost. I welcome you in spend your own special way this morning. You are welcome to this session. Holy Spirit, without you, we are finished. Lord, I welcome you into the life of your children. Lord, I ask of your presence now to come. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. <laughs> Jesus, I say you are welcome. Holy Ghost, I say you are welcome now. Holy Ghost, you can come like dew. <laughs> Lord, you can come like fire. You can come like hammer. You can come as you want to come. Holy Ghost, I say you are welcome. Holy Ghost, I say you are welcome from the head to the toe of that individual now. Holy Ghost, I say let there be your fire right now this morning. Lord, let there be your fire all over right now. Jesus, it is your time. It is your time. It is your time. It is your time. Lord, do your work now. Holy Ghost, I say right now. Holy Ghost, not tomorrow. Right now. Holy Ghost, let there be your Easter fire right now. Somebody should express a new touch. Holy Ghost, I say right now, Jesus, it is a time of our demonstration power. Let there be your fire, fire, right now, where they are hearing my voice all over the world. Yahweh. Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Let your name not be Yes, Thank you, In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. My brothers and sisters, 
listening to me this morning, do not resist the power of the Holy Ghost. Just open up to him, he will come. I want to tell you that today and tomorrow is going to be an extraordinary day. A day that somebody will never forget. A day that somebody will testify. A day that somebody needs to be taken to another realm. On that day, Peter and John was taken to another realm of the Spirit. And when they saw a different life, they was saying, Lord, let us remain here and make three tabernacles. One for you, one for Elisha, and one for Moses. Because they could experience a new thing in their life. This morning, I have come to you with a demonstration power of the Holy Ghost. I have come with the power of the Holy Ghost because without the Holy Ghost, you can't run year 2019. Without the Holy Ghost, the year 2019 will become miserable. Without the Holy Ghost, you will sorrow and sorrow and sorrow. But when the Holy Ghost is in you, when the Holy Ghost go with you, the journey of year 2019 is safe and secure. It is the Holy Ghost that will catapult you into that realm for you to take possession. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. But without the Holy Spirit in, in you, you are finished. You need to understand who is this Holy Spirit. Many of you are living without Holy Spirit. Many of you, many of you cannot hear because your ear is now become deaf and dumb. Why? You don't want to listen to him. You want to do everything by your power. You want to go by your power, by your own knowledge. You want to act in the matter just, just because you see, so you, see, you see how other people are going. You want to act without asking the Holy Spirit. But this morning, the, somebody need to have a different mind. Then you want to talk because other people are talking. When the Holy Spirit is telling you, my daughter, keep quiet. When the Holy Spirit is saying, my son, keep quiet. Holy Spirit, I ask you this morning to speak to us. Amen. In a language we will understand Lord, my ears are open. Amen. My heart is waiting to receive your word. Amen. May I not speak, but speak through me. Amen. Holy Spirit, may I disappear in this place you appear before your children. Amen. Lord, I know nothing. But you are a perfect teacher. Lord, come and teach us your word. Come and analyze your word unto us. We want to have the knowledge of the Spirit. Lord, we lack of the knowledge of the Holy Spirit. When we have the knowledge of the Holy Spirit, we will live a perfect life. We ask you to come. And have your way. And at the end, we have the cause to rejoice, Father. For Amen. in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, you are all welcome into this day, into the second to the last day of these 30 days fasting and prayer. And I want to welcome you specially to the end of January. That January could not say goodbye to us. Many people begin January. Many could not say the end of January. 
we see the gen end of January not because of our righteousness neither because of our beauty neither because of what we have done but it is because of the mercy of God we are in the end of January this is the sign that the Lord is telling you that you are crossing over to your 2020 if Christ tarried. Amen. Amen. That he is with you. That he will not forsake you. He will not abandon you. Amen. He will not disappoint you. Amen. If only you make your decision to say, Lord, I follow you. Yes. If only you make your decision, say, Lord, I am with you. I want you to drive me in year 2019. If only you make that decision. You want God to be your director. You want God to be your keeper. You want God to be your shepherd. If the Lord be your shepherd, I want to tell you that your journey in year 2019 will be a wonderful journey. But it is all depends of you. It all depends of your determine. Have you determined to allow God's will to swallow your will? Have you determined to allow Jesus to reign into your life? You need to know all those things. My brothers and sisters that are hearing my voice, if you was not in the ninth vigil last night, please, I beg all of you, go back to the message of last night. Go and listen to that message. Please, it is a something very, very crucial. All the message you are, all the message of this month, let none of us miss any one of the messages. All of them, they are on YouTube. By the grace of God, the one of last night, I must do everything possible for that message to be on YouTube also. But it's an audio that carries the knowledge about the Holy Ghost, about our Comforter, that if we must go in year 2019 without the Holy Spirit, that we cannot do anything. But this morning, I'm going to introduce, I'm going to introduce Holy Spirit to you in a different form. Not the way we went yesterday, with a different way this morning. Because the Holy Spirit is a necessity for every believer to have the Holy Spirit. Please pay attention. The teaching have begun. It's a necessity for every believer to have what? The Holy Spirit. When you gave your life to Christ, you decided to follow Jesus Christ. As you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, the next thing you must do everything possible to have the Holy Spirit in you. It is a something that you must pursue at all costs. You are the one. It's not a something you will buy in supermarket. It's not a something that pastor will just say right now because I love you, I give it to you. It is a something that you must work out at all costs to have it. It is a personal decision. I want to have it. Why you find out that many churches today are preaching rubbish? Because they push the Holy Spirit aside. That is why you see many Christians cannot work, cannot work anymore. Christians that are on their journey at the end, you find out that the moon leads you. A time comes, they discourage. Why? The lack of the Holy Spirit. 
when you begin to when you begin to allow too much of voice to speak to you you begin to hear too much of uh, informations searching for too much of pastors searching for too much opinion with people that don't have the knowledge of god it can cause it can cause you distraction it can cause you it can damnate your life you begin to have too much of group to listen to you have confused this one is telling you right now another thing why this one is telling you church have a church have a half half calendar of the messages but if you miss out and you begin to seek for many things before you know what happened even when the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, you can't, you can't hear anymore. When the Holy Spirit is talking to you, you don't hear. That is where the beginning of your trouble. Because the Holy Spirit can speak to you with a small voice. But if you are not careful, you may not hear. We are going to go into the Bible this morning to see... And first of all, the life of Apostle Paul. When Apostle Paul gave his life to Christ. What happened there? Let's see in the book of uh, Art of Apostle. Art of Apostle. Chapter 9. Let's see for verse 17. Verse 17 and 18. Are we there? Yes, sir. Go ahead. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house and putting his hands on him said, Brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus, that appeared unto thee in the way as thou comest, has sent me that thou mightest receive the sight, thy sight, and be filled with the Holy Ghost. And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scaled, and he received sight, fought with, and arose, and was baptized. God bless you. You can see what happened there that Ananias was sent to Paul by Christ that he may receive the sight and what and the Holy Ghost and it was instantly remember that this man was a man that was killing Christians but there was a something that this man did before receiving the Holy Ghost. Is that not true? Yes. Eh? Yes. Saul repented. <clears throat> repented for, for his sin. And converted to be what? To be a Christian. After the conviction. After that. He accepted Christ as, in, uh, uh, he accepted Christ as his personal Lord and Savior. After that, he, 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 he was now filled with what? With the Holy Spirit. I show you something you will, for you to confirm what I am saying this morning. That the word of God is read in the book of Acts of Apostle chapter 10. Let's read Acts of Apostle chapter 10. Verse Read there for me, verse 44, 45. Sister Rita, go ahead. When, when Peter yet speak these words, the Holy Ghost fell on him, fell on all them which heard the word. And they, and they of the circumcision, which believed, were astonished, as many as came with Peter, 
because that on the Jaita also was called at the gift of the Holy Ghost. Go ahead. For they, for they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then answered Peter, Can any man forbid water that this should not be baptized, which has received the Holy Ghost as well as we? 48. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then prayed they him to tarry. Praise the Lord. Amen. You can see what happened there. That place there have be no noise on the zone. His message is not a message and a distraction. You can see what happened there. When Peter is speaking, speaking the word of God to these people, the Holy Ghost fell on them, which he heard the word from Peter. These men, they didn't receive the baptism of water before receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Why did they, why was it so in that time? Because this man prepared their mind, but there was lack, lacking of the word of God. You at, at least you know the, the story, the life of Ananias and Cornelius. Cornelius was a man, a just man, a man that was giving hands to the poor, helping the poor. But this man, this man don't have the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Or to Jesus, when Jesus saw this man had sincerity, how this man loved to help, Jesus had to send angels from heaven down to this man. And as he do that, he sent angel to Peter to let Peter know that somebody is going, people are coming looking after him. That there is a need to go there. My brothers and sisters, as Peter was minister to them, what happened and the Holy Ghost because the Lord was now waiting because these people they are ready to receive the word of God. Their heart was open. Go and check the Bible as a whole. These are the only people that didn't receive the baptism of water before the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The topic of this morning say, feed with the Holy Ghost. There is a need for every believer to be filled with what? With the Holy Spirit. There is a need. That is why that the Holy Spirit is a necessity. Is a necessity in the life of every believer. Any man or woman that must go on this journey of life, Holy Spirit is a necessity. If you must go to heaven, for you to know the truth, you must have the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that will convince you, that will tell you that this pastor that is talking, this pastor is not my child. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that will tell you, listen to this person. This person have the truth. This person, I send this person. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. Our brother was one few days ago by Jesus himself to let him know that if he fail to listen to him what is going to do with him and if it is if he decided to obey the message that is hearing how he's going to bless him it is the work of the Holy Spirit brothers and sisters we need the Holy Spirit because if the Holy Spirit is in you, Holy Spirit will tell you when you should talk and when you should not. But when you don't have the Holy Spirit, you begin to do or you begin to do rubbish. After this 30 days and 30 night of prayer, somebody can just be panic of what necessary things, what of issue that does not have head. Why? Because such a person lack of the Holy Spirit. After such a program like this, if somebody that have the Holy Spirit, 
The person's heart will be fixed. The person have nothing to worry about because the person know that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want. The person have peace inside him or her. You have joy. Holy Spirit will tell you the need of patience. The Holy Spirit will tell you, I am with you always. The Holy Spirit, when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, I tell you, you can become a madman, a mad woman. I'm telling you the truth. All the things you see that I am doing, it is the, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Sometimes you see me, I'm in Africa. I move up and down. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that will direct you to the area where he, he, he has called you to walk. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. But when you lack of the Holy Spirit, you can say this one, you swallow. You see ants, you swallow. You see butterfly, you swallow. You see poison, you swallow. But when the Holy Spirit is in you, you can't do that. You can't do that at all. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is in you. When your Holy Spirit is in you, in your marriage, I tell you, you will have a sweet home. Amen. You will have a sweet home. Holy Spirit will not allow you to be quarreled with a man that don't know him. When the man will just come, ah, you didn't, pre you didn't prepare food, you are reading Bible, you are, I kill you today. Holy Spirit will begin to tell you, calm down. Holy Spirit will tell you, don't speak. <laughs> Holy Spirit will tell you, keep quiet. You want to open your mouth? He will say, keep quiet. You will hear the small voice. He can't begin to speak. It's only Satan can speak like that. When you have the Holy Spirit, I tell you, you begin to see the things of this world as nothing. I'm telling you the truth. When the Holy Spirit is in you, you cannot be lost after beautiful things of this world. You cannot lost of these fancy things you are seeing. Or you cannot be doing competition with your friends. They are beautiful flat now in a those days. Every woman want to become la lady. Wow. They are la lady, but they are not they are not what la lady in heaven. Why? These people, they lack of the Holy Spirit. So we even go to extra mind to make sure they get the money at all costs. Some are going to church. They are still operating under the influence of the devil. Why? The lack of the Holy Spirit. Satan has chained many of them in churches. Why? Because of the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, when you have the Holy Spirit, I'm telling you, as I'm talking now, the Holy Spirit is making me to understand that how we should go in this time. That many of us on this group, we are lack of the Holy Spirit. We are just moving without the Holy Spirit. We are operating without the Holy Spirit. We are pushing aside. We are no longer obeying the Bible. We are not obeying what people are teaching on, on internet. Wrong teachings. We are no longer searching our Bible, reading our Bible. We don't have time. We have pushed the Holy Spirit aside. We are not seeking for the knowledge of internet, television, games, eyelashes, different things. When we have the time to search, search for the Holy Spirit, we must seek for the Holy Spirit at all costs. Have you been confused in life? Why have you confused? Because you have pushed the Holy Spirit aside. I can tell you the time I pushed the Holy Spirit away. I can't sleep. If I'm past my lifter, I will be I will be I will be listening. I will be counting silly. People are sleeping. Day and night I can't sleep. I full of worry of the things of this world. 
years ago. But until the Lord recreates my heart again, as the Lord recreates my heart, it begins to make me to understand who I am. But since the day I know who I am, I have peace of mind in my life. The joy that I have in my life is unspeakable joy. Because when you have the Holy Spirit, you have this joy that no man can take away from you. When you have the Holy Spirit, you have peace of mind. Even though you don't have, eh, you don't have five arrows to go and do shopping. I tell you, if you have two arrows, if you do shopping or two arrows, you will eat more than the person that used million to do shopping. It is the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you the truth. You and I need the Holy Spirit to operate in this time. You don't need pastor. Neither what? Neither these people that are on social media giving poison to people. You don't need them. All you need, you need the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will not direct you to only one person that will show you the truth of the Bible. Not many teachers. You can't have many teachers. Because Holy Spirit can teach biology, Holy Spirit can teach physics, Holy Spirit can teach chemistry, Holy Spirit can teach mathematics, Holy Spirit can teach English, Holy Spirit can teach literature, English, Holy Spirit can teach all subjects. He is the perfect teacher that is above every other teacher. But the problem many of you are having, you have too much of what? Too much of pastors, too much of friends that, that don't have the knowledge of the Bible. But the Lord is telling us, there is a need from every believer to be filled with the Holy Spirit. In the book, we can go and read in the, let's read in um, Art of Apostle chapter 11, verse 14. Art 11, Abdessa, Go ahead. Who shall tell thee words whereby thou and all the house shall be saved? Who can, who can do that? It's only the Holy Spirit. It's only the Holy Spirit. One, because of their, of their asserting, the reason why the Holy Spirit came upon these people, I want to tell you. Now, one, because of the asserting of Christ, God, at what as their savior, and what happened when they accepted, and God at once pour out the Holy Ghost upon them, as his as his witness, that they have believed and received the word, they receive life of Christ. In Act of Apostle level, verse seventeen. Act of Apostle level. Verse 17. Verse 17. For as, for as much then has God given them the like, the like gift as he did unto us who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. What was I that I could withstand God? That is it. It was the same. The time of Pentecost. It's still the same today. The time of Pentecost, I will show you that it was the same of that time in the time of what Cornelius, which it was there was nothing changed on it. Let's see in the book of Art of Apostle, Art of Apostle, chapter 2, verse 4. Two, verse 4. And then, sir, go ahead. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues. As the Spirit gave them utterance. That is it. It is not the only day of the Pentecost. That is not the only day we can receive the Holy Ghost. It is the time time ago, 2,000 years ago, 2,018 years ago, 20 years ago, the same thing of today. If you are willing, you open up to Christ. I tell you, the Holy Ghost will come unto you. 
The Holy Spirit is the one that will sanctify you. Is the one that will prepare you to what? To rapture, to the marriage supper. It is the Holy Spirit that will point out your stain. You see right now, it will begin to point out. So right, look at it. There is a stain here. When the Holy Spirit is now speaking to you, you don't listen. That is where it becomes a problem. The Holy Spirit is telling you that need now people are saying obey New Testament, don't obey Old Testament. But it is the Holy Spirit that will tell you Old Testament and New Testament is the word of God. That there is a need for you to obey it all. That if you obey 99.9, .9, you are not qualified to go to heaven. Brothers and sisters, we lack of the Holy Spirit. If you allow the Holy Spirit to drive you in year 2019, Holy Spirit cannot drive you to the wrong direction. The problem you see on in the world today, in the churches today, if you have the Holy Spirit, when somebody begins to tell you of the thing that is what that is contrary to the will of God, the Holy Spirit will tell you, don't listen to him. Or paravention on this group. Somebody will begin to, somebody want to come to you, Satan want to use somebody, crafty people to you. They will call you on phone and begin to tell you rubbish thing. Did you hear what the Holy, the uh, uh, Evangelist Bartholomew said? Did you hear what he, what he said today? The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit can tell you, don't answer that person's call. The Holy Spirit can tell you that person, far from that person. That Satan want to use that person to destroy your life. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. But when you are not careful, I tell you, you will not hear his voice because Holy Spirit will speak to you in a word, in a, in a little voice. Holy Spirit cannot go to a place where there are market noise everywhere. No. Many of us, we talk, talk, we don't have time to listen to him. But the Holy Spirit wants want to speak to us. Allow him to talk to you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is the fullness of the promise of God in the book of Joel. Joel chapter 2. Let's read something there. Joel chapter 2, verse 28 to 29. That is going to pour out his spirit upon all his people in the end time. That is going to release the spirit of God. That is why where we read before. In the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 1, verse 4, you could, you could see that. Let's read now in Joel, chapter 2, so that we understand what the Holy Spirit, what God has promised, that He is going to pour out His Spirit upon all men. Are we there? Yes. Go ahead, please. Joel, chapter 2, verse 28. Amen. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. Go, go ahead, best. go ahead. Okay. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids, in those days will I pour out my, my spirit. spirit. You can see that. The reason why today you find that many of us, many of us, a lack of this Holy Spirit, we are worried, too much of worry of the things of this world. We allow the things of this world to weigh us down. We worry too much of the things of this world. Just as, as I'm preaching right now, people are worried about how today is going to go. Some of them connected to this program, their spirit is not with us anymore. Their spirit now is not your move, it is a time. They don't listen anymore to the Holy Spirit. Many of us, we worry of the things of this world more than what? More than the things concerning about our soul. There is somebody that, ha that have the Holy Spirit. Somebody can say the things of this world. It's better you perish for my soul to perish. It is the Holy Spirit that will tell you that immorality is a sin. That cheating your neighbor, cheating your brother, cheating your friend, cheating God is a sin. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters in the Lord, 
I want us to look into our life. I want us to understand that you cannot do without the Holy Spirit. Are you on this group? That you have you 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 have you you filled up with the things of this world, but the Holy Spirit cannot feed you when you are filled up with the things of this world. The Holy Spirit cannot enter except you allow the things to go. If you are not empty, the Holy Spirit cannot feed you. When you are empty, that is where the Holy Spirit can come in. This morning, you need the Holy Spirit in your life. You need the Holy Spirit at all times. The Holy Spirit has been giving you instruction what you should do, but today you are no longer obeying it. You lack of the Holy Spirit. Don't push him aside. It's a friend that you can never push aside. Friends, you can open up to him now and pray. The message is over because of the time. You can talk to the Holy Spirit now, say, Holy Spirit, I need you. We have see how Paul received the Holy Spirit. It was instant or instant receiving, instant manifestation. There is a need for every believer to have it. You lack of the Holy Spirit. When you have the Holy Spirit, that is where you can work. Talk to God right now. And call once upon the word to follow Jesus Christ. When you follow him, you receive the Holy Spirit. Talk to him. You have heard the message. Do you lack of the Holy Spirit? When the Holy Spirit is in you, I tell you, you have joy of life. You are going outside, you are happy, you are smiling. Why? The Holy Spirit is telling you how you should go. He's driving you. Holy Ghost will tell you how you should go about life. Holy Spirit will tell you how you should spend your money. Holy Spirit will tell you what you should do with your life. Holy Spirit will tell you the type of dress you, that He wants you to dress, not, or not as you used to dress before. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit is in you, Holy Spirit will begin to tell you what you should put on on your body. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you this morning. We bless you, Father. You have made us to understand the need for us to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Daddy, many of us we lack of the Holy Spirit. We lack of the Holy Spirit because we have pushed the Holy Spirit aside. Daddy, we are calling on you. We want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Daddy, I can't do without you. Have your way this morning. As many of your children have had this war, they have decided to follow it. They have decided to seek it. Lord, feed them with your spirit. That at the end, your name will be glorified. Holy Spirit, as we come to you by 1.30 p.m., Holy Ghost, you will manifest your power. You will manifest your spirit in us. That at the end, glory and honor be unto you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Our going out, our coming in. That is your daughter that is going, that is going to interview. Let your spirit now go before her. Holy Spirit, you will show her your favor. Lord, your children that are going having an appointment today. Lord, your spirit will go with them. Merciful Father, lead us through today. That at the end, glory and honor be unto you, Father. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Beloved brothers and sisters, because of the time, I close you. I close the program now. I I beg you do your best to be by 1:30 p.m. You know we have today and tomorrow. After today and tomorrow, today we are going to talk of the Holy Spirit. If God permit us, 
We talk of the gift of the Holy Spirit, but if it is not, we pray in the Holy Spirit in the afternoon. By tomorrow, then by tomorrow, we will not hear the main topic of the of the year. Praise the Lord. By tomorrow, we will not all by night, and it may be night, we will not receive the main topic that say taking possession because without the Holy Spirit, you can't take possession. Without the Holy Spirit, you can't take possession of what belongs to you. If you want to use your own power to, to possess it, I tell you, as you are using your hand to possess it, you are using your hand to do what? To, to scatter it. The people that are making money without the Holy Spirit, that are living without the Holy Spirit, check their lifestyle, how their life used to be at the end. But when you know who is this Holy Spirit, you have it, and if you possess one arrow, it will tell you the value of that one arrow, how you should use it. There is a need of understanding Oh, the best friend you can ever miss in life. Listen, listen to the message of yesterday. If you have not listened that last night, if you was not in that third night, or you was on that third night, you were sleeping because I could see yesterday many of you. Please, you need to go back. Remember the fasting and prayer is still on. Do your best to be on the on, on the program until 1 30 p.m. Please share the message on Facebook before you sign out. It is very, very important. If you are joining us for the first time, we welcome you to the family of Good Morning Job Family Foundation. We love you. It is a project God have raised years ago to speak to the whole world. You can create your Zoom so that you can be following us. You are hearing people on, on, the, on Zoom. We are using platform on Zoom for our programs. You, there is, if you don't know how to do that, you can scroll down. You will see our number there. You can call us. Either you can message us on the WhatsApp so that we can answer you. Our program comes up every day by day by 5.30 a.m. in the morning. God loves you. He cares for you. God bless you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship on the Holy Spirit. Bless and bide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, May his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord the forever and ever. Amen. Our life is hidden in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our life will be safe and secure in the name of Jesus Christ. Our life is hidden in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our going out, our coming in, every activities of today, that be safe and secure in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Micah, chapter 7, seven verse 7 and 8, Wherefore, I will look unto the Lord, I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me, rejoice not against me, O my enemy, when I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Galatians chapter 6, verse 7, For henceforth let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that no man or woman will trouble you in Jesus' name. God bless you and have a blessed and wonderful day. Are you too sad?